Daggone times. Are we waving? We're waving. Oh, no, leave it hey, he finally, after a hundred episodes, Big hey. D knows how to wave. Hey! <laughs> it's Friday. It's noon, 12 Eastern Standard Time. And this is Festool Live, right? Hey, everybody, happy Festool Friday. You are in for a treat because this is episode number 100. We got a lot to talk about today. I do want to do this really quick. I want to introduce the room. Over here, we got Big D. Check out that new shirt. Hey, everybody. All right, behind the camera, we have Chris, the unit cyber. Woo! And over here, we have many men men. Check out the new shirt. And we have, oh, there he is with the 100 ears. Look at Spacky. Yay. Spacky, you're the man. Hey, online, we also have Brent Shively. He will answer a lot of your questions out there. You probably already see him. He's probably already there. You'll probably ask him a lot of questions. Okay, so really quick. Is this great or what, man? I can't believe it. Hey, Clint, I want to call you out. Thanks for the cupcakes for the 100th episode. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget, this is on YouTube. That's where you're watching live. Woo! It's also on Facebook and Instagram. Please subscribe to all our channels. Hit the notification bell. Uh, see, I even have a bell on there. Oh, yeah. All right, isn't that cool? <laughs> all right, I, I got to remember how to do this. Okay. So, I want to thank Big D uh, and everybody involved because I was a little uh, overwhelmed this morning when I walked in and I was handed this shirt. Check it out. Okay, forget that. Look at the new shirts we get. Festival Live. All the core crews got these. Look at that. 100 episodes. And check it out. The years we've been doing this, 2020 to 2022. And there is a bunch of people that have worked on this. Uh, the original crew, I gotta, you don't hear about them too much anymore, but I want to call up Philip Stranad. Of course, Big D. Of course, the unit, Chris. Of course, Minnie. Of course, Sparky. Of course, Brent. And everybody, I want to thank you so much for being part of this with us. Um, and most important is everybody who's watching right now and who's going to watch this in the future, thank you for being part of our community. Um, we truly love you <laughs> and thank you for all of what you have created with us. Okay. Hey, man, did that sound okay? Sounded okay, good. happy Festival Friday. Woo! Woo! Hey, where are we at next week, everybody? Portland. Portland, Oregon. Not Portland, Maine. Portland, Oregon. And we are at a really cool venue. It's called Woodcrafters. It's on 6th Street in downtown Portland. Be there or be square. Now, you got to pay attention to this. You can go on their website. It's awesome, by the way. And check it out. A lot of the details are there. You can find out where they're at located. But remember, we're going to go. If you're going to be part of this with us, please come by. It's a huge place. We are going to be shooting at, t correct me if I'm wrong, Big D, 1030 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yep. So that will put us, everybody knows, we go here in Indy. We're on Eastern Standard Time at 12 noon. But it's going to be Eastern Standard Time at 1.30 p.m., right? Do. Minnie, did that sound good? Excellent. I think I got it all cleared up. So please, come see us. We, I got a really good episode planned for uh, a Festool Live on the Road. Whew. That'll be episode 101, because today is... 100! Woo! Celebrate good times, baby. Celebrate. Okay, that's all I have to say. Oh, so... What are we going to do today? We're going to talk about here in North America, we are launching some new products over the, and we, we never launched in the summer, but we're going to do a summer launch, okay? And I'm going to cover each product today just so uh, you will know what's available. I think it's going to be available for purchase in July, in the middle of July or early July. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's coming out quick. Uh, I'm, I'm actually allowed to talk about it. We're going to do some festival sedges on it, the whole nine yards, but I'm excited because I wanted to really talk about this. Now, you're going to say, hey, wait a minute, that's kind of, hmm, but wait till you see some of the cool things that are involved. Okay, here we go. What looks more professional, 
Woo! Check this out. I want you to see this. I want you to understand walking onto a job site. Okay, what looks more professional? Check this out. I got my CT, I got my RO 150, and I got all these boxes of cardboard, okay? A cardboard box is filled with my paper. Or I could show up styling and profiling on the job site just like this. Check it out. I got my RO150, I got my CT dust extractor, but look what I have here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> no, check it out. You have been asking for this for years and years and years. Yes, we have a Sustaina, right? Check it out, STF-150. Okay, we've always had one of these. We've had them in the old uh, classics. We've had them in the t -locks. It's now in the uh, Sys Generation 3. But we've always sold them empty. Two years ago, or last year, we, we offered for you, it's in our lineup now here in North America, we have the 125 size, and we also have the RO90 paper sustainers. Now we're coming out with a six inch. But what's cool about it is this is a killer status set. Okay, it's a great, unbelievable value, and, you have, and you'll check it out. We stuffed it full of paper, and we have, it's all Granat. You know about Granat. We've done an episode on all the different papers. We have here 20 pieces of each paper, six different flavors, okay, or grits. We have 60 grit, 80 grit, 120, 150, 180, and 220. Okay, but I want to teach you something about these sustainers. You can also fill it with a bunch of, you can always add to it. You can buy some boxes. You're going out in the, shop, going out in the job site, fill it up in the morning. But what I do, and I want to show you a tip. Here's my <coughs> 40 to 120. And this is how I know I'm running out of each paper. I take a labeler and I put, look, I have two pockets here for 40 grit. I always label them because I want to know what I go through and what I need to stock before I head to the job site. That's a quick tip right there for you. Okay, and I have them for all my grits. This is a killer value, but now we're offering it what you've always wanted in an assortment pack. Okay, so there you go. That's one. Now, number two, when I first saw this, I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. But then Rick got me one, okay? And I've been using it for about three or four months, and I'm blown away of how much this charges. I can't wait to see everything. <laughs> Look, show Minnie. Hey, guys, I know Minnie's writing down where you're from and everything, but every once in a while, she pokes between the boards and goes, I want to see it, Sedge. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get in the best position possible. I'm going to get over here. Big D, I need you to zoom a lot on this one. Oh, by the way, the six inch sanders we have for the abrasives, if you buy an abrasive sustainer, maybe you want to buy a sander. <laughs> look, that six, look at all the six inch sanders we have right here. ETS 150s, three and five. ETS uh, EC sanders, three and five. Uh, those are the all six inch pads and the RO 150. So that's the six inch Rotex. Okay, so here it is. Check it out. Pretty cool. All right, what the heck is it? Okay, this is a perfect fit for our 18 volt system. Uh, it is a phone charger. <laughs> okay, and, I, and when I first saw this, I was like, wow, okay, I get it. No, I get it now because I've been using it. This goes on all our 18 volt batteries, okay, from the 5.2 to the 6.2 if you have them, to I think I have a 4.0 kicking around here somewhere. What doesn't work on it is the Ergo battery. That won't work on it. But when you, I'm going to slide a 5.2 on here, okay, just like this. I always check my 5.2 right there. I get a full charge. It doesn't have to be Bluetooth. I actually checked it uh, the other day. Any slide battery that we've come out with will work, but you know, 18 volts all we really got right now. There's some old 12s out there that are slides, some old 15s. All right, I've tried those, they work, but you're gonna get the most bang for your buck on your 18s, and those haven't been out for a while, so I just wanted to point that out. Now, this works with, and it's funny because I, I had a tough time pronouncing it, QI technology, which is pronounced, I found out, Qi. 
uh, not Tai Chi, but Qi, <laughs> QI. It's inductive charging technology. So when I take this and you see the center button here, see that, you see how it's on? This is how cool it is. I take my iPhone and put it right on there and it charges. Oh, that's a picture of my wife, Marianne. Can you see that? <laughs> hey, Marianne. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good picture. Boy, those were good beers too. Okay, so uh, that's how easy it is. It's a phone charger. You'll get about, I think Rick told me, about eight charges fully on a single 18 volt uh, 5.2 um, when it's completely depleted. I get home at night, I have this on my, uh, half, uh, my half countertop, I just put that on there like that and it's charging. And every once in a while I'll just take this out and put it on my uh, SC8 and it charges in a half hour, 40 minutes. So what's so special about this is think about it. You're on a job site, you have your Festool system of 18 volts, right? You don't have to go and bring cords with you if you don't want to. All right, it's just another less, a less cord to have out there. You just take that and put that on there, and anybody can drop their phone on there and charge it. It's pretty sweet. Now, the other thing I gotta point out is here, you get these two ports. And uh, I just, yes, I'm an old dude. I just learned about, hey, Big D, you know a lot about Apple. When's, uh, when did USB-C come out? Um, they started introducing on most of their devices about Two, three years okay, two or three years ago. I just got a Volkswagen Atlas and I never knew about a C cable. I tried this. This is what I'm used to. This is a USB-A cable. So you could take it like this and that plugs in just like this. Okay, and you could take your iPad and check it out. You could charge that as well, which I think is pretty slick. Okay, so there's an iPad. Um, and that's USB-A, which I've had for years and years and years. But USB-C, and this is what my, I have a cable like this because my Volkswagen Atlas takes it. There's a USB-C cable right here. Let me just plug that in and get my big head in there. And now I could charge, charge what? My AirPods. Okay, I think that's pretty slick, but look at this. All on the job site, all at home. You could charge everything just like that. It's a really neat thing to have. Uh, you have 18 volt batteries. And I know here in the US, not all in North America, but in the US, I think it's around $49. What's that, two gallons of gas nowadays, Minnie? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's about, depending on, depending on your style of uh, craft beer, that might be 10 pints, I don't know, <laughs> okay? But think about it, it is such a killer value. So. Those are the, I think that's all the new products. Hello? I think that's all the new products here in the US. Wait. Who's that? Wait. Who's that? Wait, hey, what are you doing here? You forgot the best thing. Oh my God, I did, didn't I? He's, he's a work in progress, everybody. I'm oh. trying, <laughs> trying to train him. <laughs> Here you go. This is people are going to want to see that. Hey, check this out. That's Jason Bent from Bent's Woodworking. Hi. Episode 100. He's our first guest. Yes, I am. You are unbelievable. And now, unfortunately, everybody's going to know how small you are. <laughs> I'm rather short. No, you're tall, dude. Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of this stuff. <laughs> hey, I got a question, everybody. Did I actually sound surprised? <laughs> Okay, big day. You should be. You didn't know I was here. I'm gonna. Oh, I didn't. I'm gonna rely on you. This is the new ratcheting set, and I don't know about all of you out there. Um, I don't know how many ratcheting sets you have at home, but I was thinking about this the other day, and I have a bunch of different ones. I have a, a three eight set. I have a quarter inch set. Um, I just have a, and I brought it in. I just have this a half inch ratchet with a bunch of sockets just kicking around. You ready? Look at this, it's all in one place. And if you think about it, if you got one of these, while it was a limited edition, right? This set, okay. Hey, I don't have one of those. You don't have one of these with no. all the wrenches? Think about it, this is your whole tool kit instead of taking up a bunch of space. Now, do you use uh, metric or imperial? I'm smart. I use metric. Okay. Yeah. He uses standard. Yeah. 
Good. Okay. So much fun. <laughs> Give me a wave. Check out the value. <laughs> okay, really quick. Everything I just showed you, the 150 millimeter sustainer paper, sustainer, and the, and the phone charger, okay? Those are gonna be permanent items. Every time I say limited edition, we only have so many of these. So when this gets released, you might wanna go get them because this is one heck of a deal. So as I talk through this, I don't wanna forget about everything, but I wanna teach you a few things about this. This is, it comes with a, a half inch drive and a quarter inch drive. <clears throat> Important to understand all of this because you have, and this is different from ar around the world because this is pretty much exclusively for North America, you have Imperial and you have Metric in both the half inch drive and quarter inch drive. Okay? So it'll be good for me. So, <laughs> so if you have a, there's a lot of sets out there that just are Imperial and then you gotta go get a Sad. Metric set. Yeah. This is all inclusive. All inclusive. All inclusive set. Wonderful. Isn't that nice? Fantastic. Okay, but wait, there's more. There is? Yes. I don't believe it. Yes. You have, you can get an extension. You know, I haven't measured this yet. How long do you think that is? Mm, I'm gonna say it's 10 inches. Oh man. No, it's 250 millimeter. I, oh, oh, got ya! Yeah, you got me. <laughs> got ya. That is a good one. Yes, baby. Okay, it comes with that extension, the shorter extension. It comes with a universal. Right when you don't think you need that, you need that to get in a weird spot mm -hmm. and angle, okay? Also, with the quarter inch drive, you also get the ball joint, you get the two extensions. Nice. Okay, so it's, like I said, everything's in here and it's a, like we always say, a place for everything and everything in its place. But it uses a ball detented system. Now what does that mean? Let me show you. Let me get rid of this old wrench uh, ratchet here. Everybody will say, oh look, I have a ball detent, right? So when you put it in, it holds a socket like this. But if you've ever been cranking a socket and you gotta get some torque on there, you, take, you try to take it off and that stays there, right? So a ball detent is a lot different and you have to have the socket that has a ball detent indent and these do. And if we can get in there, Chris, can you see that? There's a little, I'm gonna kinda swivel that a little. Oh, there yep, you can there see it, it. You can see it, right? Okay, this is so important because when you look at the ratchet itself, it's a push. I know you get your forward reverse on there, okay? But when I push it, this pin comes out. You see the ball drop? Can you see that big D on there? Okay, see it drops in. So if I take that and I push it in, guess what? That is locked in. It has, and you can hear, it's a very fine ratchet in there. It's, there's 72 teeth, and the swing on it is that's a five degree swing. Oh, nice. So you can get just about anything you need to get into. Uh, let me tell you the range. They're labeled, <laughs> okay? It goes from in half inch, in the Imperial, it goes from half inch to one inch, okay? It goes from 13 millimeter to 22 millimeter, but that's what's cool about it because the quarter inch ends at 13 millimeter, and look how small this is on the quarter inch. It starts at five millimeter, and this one ends at half inch on the Imperial side and starts at 530 seconds. So it's all encompassing once again. Now, I wanna point out, oh, the quarter inch drive as well is ball detented and <coughs> lock on sockets. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also 72 teeth in there. It's a very fine ratcheting system with a five degree swing. What is this? <laughs> cool, I've always had one um, to get me into tight spots. Every single install kit I've ever had, I've needed one of these, and I was so stoked to see it. Uh, it's a little ratchet set. Nice. Okay, but what goes in there, this is what's sweet, is I can take, it comes with all these bits here, these one inch, quarter inch across the flat, and that can go in there just like this, and look how tight of quarters you can get into. 
look how small that is, and it's ratcheting. And right when you think you don't need one of these, I've always needed one of these. No, I can see that would be incredibly useful. But check this out, you can actually use it like this if you need a, if you just need it. <laughs> you don't think you need it like that, but then you need it. Yeah. Okay, but also, it comes with this quarter inch drive. So if I put that in here, sorry, wrong way, I could take any one of these sockets with a quarter inch drive and put it in here, and that gets me in a very close quarter, forward and reverse. Nice. Loosen and tighten, and that's what that's for. Um, I'll go through the bits, but those bits also fit into the stubby screwdriver, and it's magnetic. So the bits that you got, you got two flats, you got the quarter inch drive, you have hexes, okay, hex drives, six millimeter, five millimeter, and four millimeter. You got these square drives, or in Canada, where it was invented, Robertson's drive, okay, and you got them in one, two, and three, most popular is the two. Over here, you got the Torx. You got a number 10, all the way to a number 40, right? But then you have one, two, and three, one, two, and three in a Phillips and also PZ, which are one, two, and three posi drive. So, okay. I have a friend named Patrick. Oh, jeez, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and so do me a favor and explain to him what the differences are, because I don't think he knows <laughs> between Phillips and posi. I hope he's watching. Yeah, he might be watching this. Patrick, <laughs> I'm trying to help Is you he? out. Easier. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, <laughs> okay. He, he's asked me a million times. I've tried to explain it. I think you're going to do a better does job. Does he know Ben? He does. Oh, God. Yeah, ben also does then I get Then I got to explain it twice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Twice. Okay. You guys know what these are. And this is where I have found a posi drive the majority of the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know you got to adjust these when they're in the cabinet. A posi drive, I'm going to draw this out really quick. A posi drive, you're on the top of the screw. It looks like a Phillips, but then you will have these little tick marks in between where a Phillips is just like this. Okay, now, when we look at the posi drive, and I'll take out the number three because it's, it's a little more substantial, you'll see that little extra spline in there. What that gives you, and you'll see it on this screw tip, I'm going to grab the number two, because this is what I use the majority of the time. You see the little posi drive screwdriver? I mean, uh, the little symbol on top there? That seat's absolutely perfect in there, where there's less cam out with a posi drive <coughs> versus a Phillips. I put a Phillips in there, there'll be cam out. This gives you a better bite mm -hmm. and an easier, an easier one. And I hope you understand that, Patrick. Yeah, you're welcome, Patrick. Okay, good. So there you go. Um, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. We covered, thank you for bringing that to my attention. I had forgotten completely about this. Oh yeah, you just this. left it in the back. I know, I might I was, have to, you might have to take that home with you. I was about to take it out to my car. <laughs> <laughs> Too cool. So hopefully I explained all of that. I really think this is great with the uh, ball detented half inch and quarter inch. It's all inclusive, everything's in there you'll need. Combine that with the screwdriver and the wrench set, the adjustable wrench and the hex keys. You got a shop and two uh, sustainers, and those are sustainer what? 112s, because you can see right here, it's a 112, which is the same height as a sustainer one. And it comes in the deluxe blue and green, and that's it. Do you have any questions for me, Mr. Bent? I do not, Mr. Sedgley. <laughs> I, have, I have no questions. None. None whatsoever. Many, oh boy. I thought this was gonna be a 10 minute. There's 25 minutes, huh? Big D, did I get everything I needed to? We're all good? Okay, so, Minnie, where do I start? Oh my God, Chris, Holy look at cow. this. Okay, wow, wow, wow. So I'm gonna start here. Whew. Okay, this is how we always end every Festool Live, so let's just continue the tradition. I looked at these shirts today, I said 100. You know what our next goal is, Minnie? 200. Okay. We'll do it by the end of the year? Oh, works for me. Okay, good. By the end of the year, we guys, we good with this? All right, so let's go. Hey, you gotta be here every day. Downers Grove, Illinois. Michael from Edmonton, Alberta. Winchester, Virginia. Joe from Waseca, Illinois. Dirk from Dayton. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, Michael from Paris, France. Larry from Sun City, West 
Arizona. Did I say that? Sun City, West Arizona. Yep. Larry, you're always there with us. Thank you. Matt from Tenley Pag. Matt, how the heck are you? It was great seeing you at J uh, JC Lick the other day. Chris from Malta. Mike M. Woo! From Austin, Texas. That was great hanging with you on the Fest Tool Live, Mike. Mike N. from Remsen, Iowa. Tom from Patton, PA. Doug from Zionsville. Dale from Swatterland Coat, England. Jason. Oh, from Fenton, Michigan. Yeah. Not you? No, not me. No, no, no. You. I'm here. Where do you live now? Avon, Indiana. Avon, Indiana. Since you're early on, may I suggest that Jason begin to oh, count oh. the Jasons? Okay. One. One Jason. Okay. Mike. One from Perth, Australia, George from Naples, Kurt from Surrey, Wisconsin, Des from Harrogate, England. We got Cresswell, Oregon. Hey, hopefully we see you next week. Kelly from Provo, Utah, Soren from Denmark, Elk Woodworking, Douglasville, Georgia, Jason. That's two. From Granite Falls, Washington, Ian. Woo! From East Yorkshire, you the man, Ian. Michael from Queen Creek, Arizona. The Netherlands, Steve from Bermuda. Just from Clarksburg, Maryland. Blake Weber from Novato, California. How you doing, Blake? You the man. Paramaribo, Suriname. Hi, you zoo. Bozeman, Montana. Johnny O from Atco. We have Dan from Whitestone, New York. Tallinn, Estonia. Springfield, Oregon. Brian, Ohio. Russ from Chick Chester. How you doing, Russ? All right. Scott from Mich Scott's, Michigan. Eden, New York. Wake Forest, North Carolina. Rob from S. Devon, England. That's probably South Devon, right? Uh, Jordan from Bear Knuckle Builds. We know, know him. him. Just saw him. Uh, yeah. Matt from Scotland. Monty from Canton, Connecticut. Matawan, New Jersey. Gerald from China. Danny from Johannesburg, South Africa. Craig and Tyler I'm still right. from Virginia. Oh my wow. God! Wow. So <laughs> I need more whiteboards. Is this incredible? Wow. I, oh my God! Sleepy Hollow, Illinois. Mississauga, Ontario. Mechanicsville, Virginia. Norman from Los Angeles, Norriston, Pennsylvania, Matt from Newark, Ohio, Brad from LaGrange, Indiana, the Warped Woodsman from Portland, Oregon. We'll see you next week, hopefully. Aka from Finland, Tom and Kelly from Eatonton, Georgia. You guys are always there with us. Thank you. Jed from the Big Easy, that'd be New Orleans. Ron from Holland, Georgia. Tom from Zanesville, Ohio. Serbia, Belgrade. Huntington Beach, California. Australia. West Virginia, Tom Slick from Moorhead City, Eric from Sinaloa, Mexico. Sounded good. <clears throat> Not bad. Dave from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Kenneth from Oak Park, Illinois. I was just there, guys. There's a good brewery there or two. Kevin B. from San Antonio, Texas. Denmark, Peter from Crystal Lake, Illinois. Hey, I saw you two, Peter, at Crystal Lake, Illinois. Jason. Three. Three from Norristown, Pennsylvania. Three. Marysville, California. Mike from Tynesboro, Mass. Jay from Edinburgh, Scotland. Jason from Pulley Up, Washington. Four. Wow. Steve from Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, look at this next one. Leather by Dragonfly. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Okay. Willie from Freeville, Boise, Idaho. Not noisy, Idaho. Patrick and Michelle from Strongville, Ohio. I wonder if it's... I want... Oh, no, 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 no. It was probably a different Patrick. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Okay. Tim Van Maldegam from Geneva, Geneva, Illinois. Tim. Hi. How are you? We miss you. Minnie, you know who that is. I do. That's our brother from another mother. Roadport, South Africa. Lawrence from Dublin, Ireland. I'm coming to see you, Lawrence. Richard from Copplestone, Devon, UK. Minnie, I get to turn that around again. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay. Are we on Jason from Pulley Up? <laughs> Are we on four? Mm. Yeah, we're on four. We're on four. So okay. Craig so and I, and Craig and Tyler from Virginia. Romford, England. Ibstock, UK. Oh my God, it's Jason Bent? Where? You! Oh, okay. well, that's five, technically. Uh, 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 uh. And Gary Furness from Beers with the Boys. I have something to tell Gary. Okay, go ahead. I am retiring. <laughs>
<laughs> John's Workshop, Woodbine, New Jersey. Jim from Imlay City, Michigan. Hey, Jim, thank you. You're always there with us. New Jersey, Robbie's Home Solutions in Corneth, Texas. Rick Card from Gotland. Mike from Montre Monterey Bay, California. Wow, that's a nice place. Jurgen Delft, the Netherlands. Yolarvi, Finland. You know what? You've always been there with us. Thank you so much. You made me look up that place to learn how to pronounce it. <laughs> Southern California. Woo! Tom from Galway, Ireland. I love it. Jan from Denmark. Frederick from New York City. Independence, Kentucky. Dan from Kingman, Arizona. You're always there with us, Dan. Thank you. San Antonio. Mike from Middletown, Ohio. Kurt from Rochester, Michigan. Nelson from Bogota, Columbia. Columbia. Isn't that cool? Eric from the Netherlands. I think that's a two-pack from the Netherlands. It's a three-pack. It's a three-pack. Three. Zotramir. Zotramir. Let me see. I couldn't write it all while you were talking. Oh, Zotramir, the Netherlands. Wow. That's a big word. Seems about right. <laughs> Hey, and you know what? I timed myself. That took me six minutes to six minutes to read all those names. Pretty impressive, huh? I have to admit, you have the hardest job. <laughs> <laughs> she works the hardest. That is very clear now. It's very clear. You guys definitely need another. Oh award. man, dude, thank you so much hey, for thanks. showing up. Thanks for really having me. Appreciate it. Where do I send my bill? Our first guest, Jason. <laughs> The Bent. The Benster. <laughs> the Benster. Yeah. Hey, everybody, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for making these 100 episodes special. Brent, Minnie, Chris, Big D, Philip. Okay, and you too, Spocky. Thank you so much for making this so special the last few years. We really appreciate it. I can't believe it's 100. Clint told me not to mess it up today. <laughs> There he goes. He's walking that way. He bought yeah. his cupcakes. Yeah. I love that guy. As he's walking by. As he's right walking by. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Woo! Like, like, almost like he planned it. Hey, everybody. Have a great weekend. I say this every time. We love you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for making this the most unbelievable community out there on YouTube for us and Festool. Man, we reach out to everybody. You guys reach out to us. Thank you, Minnie. You're awesome. All right. Hey, everybody. That's a wrap. Hey, and to all the dads, happy Father's have Day. Happy Father's Day. Good one. Caught it. Good one. Well done, Jason.